back again with another flutter tutorial and a couple of weeks before we just posted a video wherein we showcase this cool animation what you see here in this flutter app as most of you are more impressed with this animation i thought it would be better to discuss in detail about how to achieve this simple animation here in our flutter app and in order to create this animation we have made use of flutter implicit animations which actually provides with plenty of predefined animated widgets like the animated scale animated rotate and so on with help of these widgets you will be able to animate any of your flutter widgets in runtime and in this video i will walk you through how to create this cool rotation animation here in our flutter app therefore without any further delay let's directly dive into the video and get started all right and what we have here is a simple example of the same and we won't be building up the entire replica of the ui all over again we will just focus on how to create this rotation animation what you see here and that is going to be our main focus in this video series and here we have a simple skeleton of the same example and upon clicking this floating action button you will notice that we try to achieve the same replica of the animation here with the basic set of ui elements so this is all about what we will be explaining in this video series and before getting into the coding part i will like to turn your attention to a blank canvas in order to explain the logic of how to create this rotation animation here in our flutter app consider this is going to be our device screen and the implicit animation which you are about to use here is the animated rotate here now let's create a circular object so consider this is going to be the circular object which is going to rotate here in flutter in order to move any of the object you can either move it in a x or y axis or you can scale the object or else you can rotate the object so these are the major three motion animation what we have here in flutter simplicity animations but moving the object in x or y axis is not something which we want we want the object to move in a circular fashion and if we try to apply this animated rotate to this red circle it is going to spin in a fixed axis something like this and this is not what we want we want the object to move something like this in a hyperbola fashion and in order to achieve that the logic behind the scene is we need to create another circular object so let's do that in order to create the same rotation animation which you have defined earlier what we need to do is we need to place this small red circle over the black circle now if we try to apply this animated rotate to this black circle you will notice that the black circle keeps rotating on a fixed axis moreover you will also notice that the red circle which is the child of the black circle also keeps rotating which means that the child actually inherits the change applied over to the black circle which is the parent widget and this helps us to create the same animation what we have discussed earlier so if we now bring this object over to the screen and consider we just apply the animation to the black container alone we are not applying any animation to the red container so since we are rotating the black container in a fixed axis it seems like the red container also rotates in a fixed axis taking the black container as the orbit so this is basically the animation what we want so the logic here is that we make use of two circular objects which is placed one over the other and we try to apply the animated rotate only to the parent widget so as the parent widget rotates the child widget also inherits the animation and it keeps spinning keeping the parent as the fixed axis and the reason for using circular object is that it doesn't have any sides so say for example instead of the circular background if we try to place the red circle over the square and if we try to rotate it the rotation of the object is evident so user will be able to easily identify that the parent object is being rotated but it is not the case while working with circular object because circle doesn't have any sides so even if you rotate the object it is no way going to be identified by the user that the object is being rotated that is the reason we have the parent as the circular object all right so this is one of the thing which you need to keep in mind this is the basic logic of how to achieve the circular animation which you have seen before hope you got a better understanding of the basic logic which is running behind the scene with this idea let's turn our focus to the coding part and let's try to achieve the same here in our flutter app here starting with the main.dat file the home points to my home page the my home page is nothing but a stateful widget class with an empty scaffold now let's start building up the uis first let's define a variable called my angle which is going to keep track of the rotation initially it is set as 0.0 inside the scaffold let's set the background color followed by which here the body let's define the stack widget and the first child is going to be the circular avatar where we have specified the radius as 210 
Now we need to position the circular avatar over to the top. So we make use of the position widget and specify the top as minus 170. Which typically makes the wire appear as a semicircle. Followed by which let's now wrap the circular avatar inside the animated rotation widget. Here we specify the curve, duration and the turns. Duration which I have specified in terms of seconds as 2. And the turns I have specified it as the my angle. Instead it is set as 0.0. .0. And for the circular avatar we need to specify the child which is once again going to be a stack widget. Here inside the stack the child is going to be the circular avatar. Where we have specified the bottom as minus 81. Now we are able to pretty much get the entire basic skeleton of the UI. Now what we need to do is, we need to create a floating action button. Upon pressing that, we need to rotate this circular avatar. That is the brown avatar what you see as a parent. Let's specify the floating action button. Here inside the floating action button, we need to change the my angle. So we make use of the set state and we try to reduce the angle by the factor of 1. By doing so, we will be now able to rotate the object in an anti-clockwise direction. Say for example, if you want the rotation to be in a clockwise, instead of reducing the angle, we need to increment the angle. Now if you see, upon pressing that, the object rotates in a clockwise manner. So whenever the object is pressed, the by angle is changed and Flutter implicit animation will take the hard work in rotating the object all by itself. So this is basically what I thought of explaining in this video. Hope you find this video useful. For more such awesome Flutter animations and Flutter tutorials, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. And I will see you again in the next one.